Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is the How to Draw Like an Architect series, Part 4, The Detail. Thus far, I've shown a floor plan drawn at quarter scale, an elevation that matched at quarter scale, a wall section at a larger scale of three quarters of an inch, and today I'm showing details drawn at one and one half inches equals one foot. Details are typically shown at the largest scales, one and a half inches, three inches, six inches, which is half scale, or full scale. I'll cover more about scale in part six. The reason for a large scale is obvious. The larger the drawing on the page, the more detail for the contractor. This first detail shows a very common shingle style, modified flared skirt. The detail historically provides a strong drip edge for coastal properties to keep water away from the house. The drawing is large enough that I can provide dimensions for framing and trim work, as well as lots of notes that make construction much easier. At this scale, I'd also ask the contractor to make a full-scale mock-up on-site for the clients and my approval. The same is true for this eave detail. Here, the drawing shows a standard cove molding at the end of a custom-cut rafter tail, as well as slate roof construction and the ventilation detail for the roof. I've also included lots of notes that couldn't have been included on a smaller three-quarter inch wall section. Bottom line, in the course of any project, the architect can literally do hundreds of detailed sketches of portions of the project that need further description. That's just part of the process. Putting as many details in your working drawings as you can will get the contractor closer to a realistic number when bidding the job and make your job as an architect easier along the way. We'll look at a perspective in part five. See you next time.